Hello and welcome to 2020 Rewind. Right guys, anyway, welcome back to another video and today, uh, basically, I'm just going to be going over the year and uh, 2020 was a bit dodgy all round really, wasn't it? So, I thought today I'd make a video on how 2020 went and uh, the good and the bad things that happened. But if you enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace. Brexit means Brexit. So, to start off the year, we, uh, Britain, did finally leave the EU, which means all these middle-aged people can finally celebrate that they uh, have their country back. And poor old John, who had his job stolen, can finally go back to work. Moving on. And uh, this is where the China virus started to emerge. And um, it's alright though, because the World Health Organization have indeed tweeted that you cannot catch it with human to human interaction. I was at a hospital the other night where I think there were, a few, there were actually a few coronavirus uh, patients, and I shook hands with everybody. Boris Johnson has tested positive for a coronavirus. But Boris wasn't the only world leader who was in trouble. Kim Jong-un was reportedly dead. Until two weeks later, when he rose from his deathbed like the Lord himself. Praise the Lord, give me oil in my lamp, give me burning. Then, virtually every sporting event was postponed due to the coronavirus, um, including the Olympics and, of course, the uh, Vitality Super Netball League. It's breaking news, the Vitality Super Netball League has been postponed due to the virus. Oh, God. Oh, God. You're joking, Ross Gallagher. That, that's just the final kick in the nuts for me. We've had the Premier League, the Six Nations, loads of things, and now netball. Netball's gone as well. It's, it's political correctness gone mad. Next up, countries all over Europe go into lockdown in an attempt to try and stop COVID-19. This was when Dominic Cummings decided it would be a good idea to drive to Durham Castle to try and test his eyesight. The stupid f <laughs> Then the NHS actually had to pay celebrities to tell people to stay at home. Simply staying at home will save lives and reduce the risk of spreading the coronavirus and also release the pressure on the NHS. Remember to stay home, stay safe, uh, protect the NHS, and you'll save lives. Bang! Next, uh, at 8 o'clock every Thursday night, people in the UK were clapping for the NHS. Meanwhile, one street decides it would be a good idea to go and do a conga throughout the whole neighbourhood down the street. Next, uh, George Floyd was brutally murdered by a police officer and that caused huge Black Lives Matter protests which uh, many people just took as an excuse to uh, vandalise and loot uh, random places. But um, overall, probably one of the better things which came from 2020. Uh, Liverpool did actually finally win the Premier League. Marcus Rashford managed to get the government to pay for more free school meals. Joe Biden, who, let's be honest, is just some old man, no one really knows who he is, um, managed to become the 46th American president. And then Boris essentially cancels Christmas by announcing a second lockdown. We cannot continue with Christmas as planned. Well, it's over. And no, I'm not talking about Frank Lampard and Chelsea's title contentions. I'm talking about 2020. Well done for making it through. And I'll see you all next year. Make sure to like and subscribe. But for now, in a bit. Peace.